Hello guys, welcome back to another episode on Unturned. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode. Last episode, what we have done is, as you very well know, we have explored the sunken town of Salibia. The reason I call it sunken is because it pretty much is sunken underneath all the sand that it's covered in. So, yeah. That was what we did last time, that was pretty fun. And today what we're going to do is we're going to simply move on of our exploration. We have apparently caught five fish, which is really not a lot of fish. But that's probably because I absolutely despise fishing, both in video games and in, you know, in real life. So yeah, I only did the, I only did some fishing when I absolutely had to for one of the quests. I've died 93 times, which we yeah, found out last episode. Anyway, back to Kuwait we go. Oh, look at that. My god, that's a picture of the capital city. Yeah, have that beautiful car. I think there's some like, lights underneath it, and that's the main tower. Yeah, that's the capital city, which I haven't been to that capital city yet. But I am going to go there quite soon. Just not yet, because first I gotta go and I gotta explore all the other locations. Yeah. In Bobian, baskets are destructible for more dead zone level loot. Hmm, baskets. In Bobian, the Bobian Island. Yeah, because Bobian is a dead zone, as you know. So we're gonna go to Bobian Island quite soon. It's just I wanna go and explore all the, you know, onshore locations first. As they probably better to do that. And then head off into the, you know, Persian Gulf and explore all the stuff that are there. But yeah, goddamn, that's a beautiful loading picture of, you know, the capital city, which I didn't actually remember the name of, but yeah, oh my god, that's a beautiful picture of the tower, it's been, you know, century, century, well yeah, that's, that's the word, century in the middle, it's beautiful. Anyway, after we load in, whenever that may be, I'll show you where we are, what we're going to be doing today, and journey what the plan is. Yeah, that's such a beautiful picture. Anyway, okay, are we ever going to load in? Or are we just going to be sitting on the flipping loading screen forever? There we are. We are in. So, last episode, as I said, we've been exploring Salibia. We've went around, explored the town, found there was absolutely nothing there. And then we also returned to Hawali, got ourselves some food. And then we traveled to right here. Jahra Industrial. That is the name of this location that we're currently in. And this is the place we're going to search today. It's a pretty small kind of like port area. We're going to go and search it and see what we can find. And then afterwards, the next location we're going to be infiltrating into and exploring is going to be the Bergen oil fields. Or the Bergen oil fields, basically. This area will be the next area. But as you very well know, there will probably be no food and water in the Jakar industrial area or the oil fields. So we might be struggling with food and water for a little while. But I mean, if we go into our inventory, you'll be able to see that I have, I mean, some food, but very little water. I mean, I've got, like, for example, this tomato soup. I've got some tomatoes. I've got canned cola. Bottled air, which I think is when you drink a normal bottle, it becomes bottled air, so I don't need that, but you got some cola, so should be mostly fine. Plus, we also managed to find in our briefcase last episode, you can go and hand in to the people over on Icarus, which we're gonna travel to quite soon, but not just yet. So, yeah, today we're gonna be exploring Jarha Industrial. Maybe we can find ourselves a good boat to get over to Bobin Island later. And yeah, after you explore Jarha Industrial, then I guess the Virgin Oil Fields will be next, and then explore the stuff up north. But for now, Jaffe Industrial is a pretty big location, as you can quite clearly tell. Where are my binoculars? Right there. No, hold on. There we are. Pretty big location. It's basically warehouses and uh, zombies and flags, towers, buildings, and massive, you know, those thingamajiggers. One of them which is on fire. Yeah, it looks like a very cool location we're going to be breaking into today. We have two entrances. One over here, which uh, unfortunately is... You kind of drive through there, but that's fine because I don't plan on driving through there. Our car only has 9% fuel, so yeah. But there's a broken entrance way over there, which you could drive in through, but there's no point driving through. Because I'll probably accidentally just sink the car. So yeah, we'll head in right through here and simply explore the entirety of this location and see what we can find. And yeah, we'll hopefully not die. Anyway, let's get to it. Bow and arrow, we only have two arrows per plus one loader. Then right now we have three arrows, but that should be enough. Anyway, the sun is is going to be rising soon, the moon is setting, so it should be daytime soon enough. Anyway, let's go and let's explore Jahra Industrial, shall we? Yeah, 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 should sure look at this place. Damn, it definitely looks like um, an industrial area, that's for sure. Uh, yeah, let's just start exploring, no time to waste, starting off with this little thing over here. Why are these signs so, like, shiny? 
Not signs, but like, like for example, shoot that guy over there. Actually, there's two zombies. I'm gonna kill those guys in a minute. But like for example, look, look at this. This looks pretty weird, but it turned light on. Like it's very shiny. Like I think this is supposed to be representing the material they normally make these out of to make this look more, you know, believable. Make them look more real. All that good stuff. Anyway, murder that guy and quickly go and shoot the other guy. Beautiful. I would have been executed quite perfectly if it wasn't for the fact that my game lagged a bit, which didn't help, that's for sure. Anyway, um, that's actually going to explore this warehouse over here. Probably won't be anything that interesting or good over here, but at least maybe you'll find some weapon type of stuff. I don't know, everything's on fire. Just a fire zombie. But still, I don't think we'll find anything that great in here. To be honest, what am I here? There's a sledgehammer, which unfortunately deals less damage than our current weapon. There's zombies, there's... You know, big crate things. Oh, beautiful. Wire, don't need that, Buckaroo. More hammers, more slash stuff. There's really nothing that useful in here, apart from just, yeah, a bunch of dead zombies. Anyway, what do you want to keep it going? Yeah, there's literally nothing in this warehouse. And there's some hammers and things of that, but that's not going to help me at all. Killing this guy will help me, though, so that's what I'm going to do. There we are. Now, beautiful. Anything down here? No, that's just the water. Alright, beautiful. There's more of the desert over there. We have another black sedan over here, which is actually more fuel than my car, but probably it's probably quite hard to get out of here, so I'm just going to use my own car. Which is also running low on fuel. I mean, if I could find myself a gas canister, that would be very good, because then I could go and I could refuel my car. Or maybe even a blowtorch. Those are two items that I'd want. A blowtorch or a gas canister. Unfortunately, finding those is going to be quite hard. But hey, let's not give up hope just yet. There is just pillows over here. And there's nothing else. Okay, break this monitor. Ah! Cute, cut it, went flying. I love how, you know, you know, still stayed upright even though it went flying. This is a... Why is there a massive, like, container in this room? It's a very strange place to put a, a container. These, I don't have enough uh, Kuwait diners to go and purchase that. Oh, more big brand cereal. How very convenient. I'm gonna eat that in a minute. There's actually a kitchen over here, but there's nothing in the kitchen but the big brand cereal. The big brand cereal is good because it gives you, yeah, 45 food experience. Yeah, I mean, I huh, probably should wait to eat that. Because that's gonna give me a little bit if I just make some space for it area. This is gonna give me 45, same time 55 in order to get myself up to four. So I'm gonna wait for this and then we're gonna use it. How much experience do we have? 36, we're gonna wait till we get hungry enough, then I'm gonna eat the big brown cereal. Then I'm gonna go experience spending. Some fire over there, my god. What else is inside of this building? Hopefully something useful. There's literally nothing in here. Like, I mean, there's, there's nothing in here. No, no, actually, oh, that is a whip. Oh, that is some kind of powerful, you know, sword, but it's just a stupid whip, which I do not need, believe it or not. So it's you, free, nothing in you. You're empty, is it a flipped chair? There's one of these up here. Ah, chocolate milk, I love chocolate milk. Genuinely, chocolate milk is the best thing on this planet. Ah, beautiful, that's gonna keep me alive. Now, let's explore this little section over here, then I'll head over to that part over there, because you came in through there. A bunch of stuff over here. There's a smoking thing. That's a zombie. Yo, dude. Can you, like, not? Huh. No. Ah, stop. There we go. This is smoking trash. They set trash on fire. Why are they Why are they burning trash? I don't know. That's just not a question. We can head in through here and most likely die or get lost or even both. Uh huh. As, yeah, where, where am I even going? Where even am I? Just keep on following these weird, yeah, containers. And we emerge right here. We can actually jump into the water over here. You can see how that helps us, but yeah, it's just a sunken ship over there. Well, partly sunken, but it's a beautiful view over here. When you're into the Persian Gulf. And that's Icarus right there I'm looking at, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's Icarus that you can see. Quite fun indeed, isn't it? And this will take us just up to here. There's actually quite a few items in here. None of which provide any use to me, but so oh, pickaxe, that could be quite good. For just to quickly, oh yeah, of course this guy's like the biggest vision. Oh no, stop. There we are. Let's suck on that. They need our black mandanas, because I got a weird military bandana type of thing. Pickaxe deals less damage. At least it looks cool from the skin that I have on it. Anything else in here? There's just a smoking burning trash. There's nothing in here. Uh, get up. Nope, is there anything in... Hold on. Is there anything over here? No, let's have a look at this entire area from up in the sky. Looks nice, like a big whole industrial area. Kind of what you'd expect from, you know, an industrial area. Huh. Anyway, let's back. Actually, look at this. The area they're recording in right now, it's like a whole circle, or maybe more rectangle, of um, containers. A very straight positioning for these types of things, but hey, whatever. There's probably somewhere. Nah, there's a zombie somewhere around here because I can hear him, but well, I don't see him, so there's no problem. Now. 
That's, uh, yeah, oh, look, ammunition for a gun I don't have. I mean, it's good at giving me ammo, but I mean, the gun is a bit more useful than the ammo. Since, you know, there's nothing I can do if I punch up magazines, but I don't even have the gun for that you know, ammunition. Anyway, now I can go and we can, yeah, search you, because we'll search all that. Okay, this looks like a... This looks like the exact sort of warehouse I've just been into, but this one's a bit more, uh, destroyed, yeah. The other warehouse over there was a bit less, um, yeah, pierced through the roof, you could say. But, uh, that's fine. I'll explore it nevertheless. This guy's coming up. Hold on. Huh, huh. Beautiful, he's not coming up anymore. I dropped a skimitar. Shame I already have my own, but, I mean, hey, cool. Fine, whatever. Anything else over here? No, that just all collapsed. There's a zombie down there, which I could murder, but I could not. I don't know. There's you over there. Beautiful. Oh, oh, oh god, I missed that. That's kind of good. Stop. Beautiful. Sniper, sniper, sniper magazine. I do not have a sniper. Guess so stop giving me ammunition for a gun. I don't have. God damn it. Uh, nothing in here. There's literally only just the destroyed roof in here. And there's nothing else that holds any value. Shame. I can just head past all those creepy looking zombies and we'll murder this guy. Beautiful. And now, look at that. The sunrise. Oh, I love when the sun starts rising. Because the sunrise is very beautiful, especially when you have Bloom turned on, which I forgot to turn on before. It's beautiful. By before, I mean I never had Bloom turned on, until I turned it on in the other playthrough, halfway through it. Yeah. A baton. Fun. Not like I can do anything with that. Because deals damage with my sword. It's a yellow land explorer. I'm actually going to use this just to kill these zombies. Just because I want to kill them. I'm going to be going back out. It's a very... Okay, that was a bit of a mistake, because the vehicle's a bit too slow. Instead of killing these guys and driving them over, I just wasted my time. As per usual, I shot the wrong zombie. God damn it. Stop. Huh. Huh. Beautiful. Okay, that was a waste of time. At least there is a vehicle in here which you can use. There's also the black sedan in here. Quite fun. Now, but if I over there, and there we are. Zombie dead. I gotta find myself more arrows, because, yeah. Ooh, a crowbar. Is this even any good? Um, uh, no. No, it is not. Okay, good to know. Anyway, moving on. Let's go and see what's inside of here. Inside of this little security outpost. Apart from nothing, and you know, a weird cone. There's nothing. Uh, then there's a smoking car over there, which someone set on fire. God knows who. Oh, yep, of course. I God, was a bit too far away, and the guy did not die. Oh, that's bad. Hold on. Stop. Huh. No. Why? There we are. You're dead. And now we can go and scrap you. There we are. Beautiful area, yeah, that arrow broke, didn't it? Yes, it did. How very unfortunate. Other than that, let's go and check out these three massive things. And maybe find out why one of them is on fire. Jesus Christ, unless you fall and blew it up. Which is kind of unfortunate. But the clavers don't need. Why are so many of these, like, military huts everywhere? These, not only really huts, but these things. Towers. Why are there absolutely everywhere over here? Like, why? Why is there so many? I don't know. I don't know if there's even anything over here, but uh, but just, you know, the destroyed one. She one of them's destroyed, the other one's just on fire. This one's like falling under the flipping water. I wonder if I can climb it. I probably can, but there's, gonna be, there's not going to be anything on there. I can go aboard the broken ship. So we probably will do that then, shall we? Yeah, I think we shall. This seems like a great idea. Let's board a half sunken ship. I got it. Yeah. Alright. Here it is. The ship. I think I've already been in one of these because I think this is like a copy and paste. I've already seen this. I think I've seen this ship in the. Scorpion 7 map, actually. I think that's where I've seen it. In Scorpion 7. It's the exact same amount of the bunk in here. We're gonna have like a narrow room over here. Then the main one up here. And it's gonna be no more rooms, yeah. Same ships, uh, everything's ordered a bit differently. And the crates are destroyed. It's a shame you can't actually open these crates because you can't have normal internal maps. These like special crates which you cannot open, unfortunately. Anything in here that I can drink? No. There's a card which I can eat that's gonna give me some, you know, stuff. Can tuna I shall definitely take. And the card is up. But I'll now eat the big brown cereal. Actually, I have, uh, six quiet diners. Seven. I have eight quiet diners. Interesting. We're gonna eat, yeah, Big J's big brown cereal. I cannot see a thing. Because, yeah, there we are. 25 experience, which I'll gladly take and gladly use to improve some of this stuff. Um, use the stamina. Aquivo oxygen regeneration. I don't really use that, but I mean, I mean, I would do on stamina to regenerate fast. Let me put a point into that. Punch and melee of greater force. Let me go and put actually three points into that. Now I'm out of uh, experience. Fair enough. Now, what's inside of here? Just an outfit. There's something else that was over here. I should probably should check out. And it's nothing. A brick doorway. <laughs> Why is a brick doorway? Such a random thing. 
Anyway, what I've had is nothing in here. We have searched the entirety of Jackman Industrial and just found a bunch of zombies and nothing that has hold any value, unfortunately. But that's fine. Because it's still quite fun exploring the place. But yeah, there's nothing here. So it's now time to leave for the Burgeon oil fields. We found out in one of the tips on the loading screen that the oil fields can give us some good items. So like oil related items we can craft some stuff with. So the oil fields are definitely quite fun. The explorers so get into our car and get ourselves to the oil fields. But getting out of here might take a few seconds. Is there anything up here? No. What was I expecting? Uh, we can probably swim for the gulf, but that's probably not the best idea, to be honest. I'll probably just drown and die. Anything in here? No, there actually there is a cobra sight, but I don't know if I can put it onto my current gun, which we have down here. Hold on. Uh, equip that. Because I don't think it's a gun that you can't put scopes onto. Actually, no, man, you can. I'll just go and put the cobra sight on this thing. Ah, beautiful. We only have here one magazine, but we have a bunch of things that we can refill the magazines with, so that should be fine. So, you two out. Let's keep on going on our not-so-jolly adventure. So, I jump through the fire, because I'm such a badass. I'm being chased by a zombie. That's problematic. Come on, then, dude. Fight me. One-to-one. Ah, -one. Oh, God, that set me on fire. But we're fine. There's fire zombies. Really pack a punch. Anyway, I've done everything that I can. Jackman Industrial has been explored. There's a zombie on the roof. That's strange. Anyway, let's go for the oil fields. You can actually see the oil fields right there. Let's go and spare a visit to the oil fields, shall we? I think we shall. Let's go. We take ourselves straight to the fields of oil. I'm going the wrong way. I probably should turn around the vehicle. There we are. Yep, Tokyo drifted. Now I'm going to face the wrong way again. God damn it. These sedans are very hard to control because they they accelerate a bit too fast. And uh, that's hard to manage sometimes. Anyway, we're coming up on the beautiful oil fields. And there's something going on over here. Okay, this area is absolutely massive. My god, look at this. Here's some big ass oil fields. There's even an oil station over here. My god, let's keep going like to the inner section. I mean, we can stop the car right here. Dun, 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 dun. Beautiful. 4% fuel. That'll probably take us like at least to this weird area over here. Definitely not take us to Al Abdali. It's going to be our next location that we're going to explore. But it should take us to over here. Unless we'll find some, you know. Some gas canisters and a way to refuel our car here in oil fields. If we do find that, then we'll be able to take our car quite far. But if not, then it'll take us to maybe this location and no further. Anyway, hold on a minute. I actually want to go and see what is that? Is a thing over there? See, so we can still look at the oil fields. Something like over here. This, this is what I think I'm looking at. Yeah, that's just is on the hill, isn't it? Yeah, that's the oil fields right there. Um, yes, yeah, so this this thing right here. Is, is that what I think it is? I think it is. I think this thing right here on the map is just this thing over here. Yeah. Anyway, this, these are the oil fields. They're filled with oil. Which is kind of what you'd expect from an oil field, huh? Anyway, what is this? Why is there so many zombies like on here? Middle of the desert. Yeah, the, these zombies are literally in the middle of nowhere. Why is there so many zombies here? There's literally nothing here. They're approximately somewhere around like over here near this, this thing right here. Maybe there is something over here, but it's not loaded in. I don't know, there's a bunch of zombies, and that's quite strange, actually. Anyway, let's get back to where we are. This is right here next to this car. So, yeah. The Burgeon, Burgeon, how it's called. The Oil Fields. Explore this, and see what we can find. Car, stay there. Don't spontaneously combust or explode, because I'm going to need you for later. Uh, the road behind us just going to take us back to Salai. We don't want to go there, so yeah. I'm going to explore this thing over here first. Just to see what's here. Have a bit of a, you know, taster for what the rest of the oil fields are going to be like. Um, there's nothing here. That's a pretty good representation of what is going to be in the oil fields. A.K.A. nothing. I mean, I get these locations are quite fun to explore. But, I mean, there's just nothing in these locations. Like, Jackman Industrial and the oil fields and all other places like that. There's going to be literally nothing here. Literally, absolutely nothing useful in here. Like, for example, the Bay and Water Towers. There's nothing there. Alwafra, but there's nothing there. All three of these islands, nothing there. It's just such a waste of time. Anyway, I mean, since I'm already here, I might as well explore this place. These guys can maybe, don't even give me any food or water. Like, why am I here? I don't know. But I mean, since I'm already here, I might as well explore the place. What does it say on this billboard? Um, Baby says, have you seen my brother? A living employee is a happy employee. Okay, that's... um. That's an awfully strange motto, but one question, there's a lot of oil over here. Probably shouldn't hit it, as oil is pretty explosive, but it seems like the barrels are empty, so... Where is the oil? 
I mean, I guess, you know, oil is very valuable, so maybe someone has stolen the oil, but still. Till you get up here, and most likely die. Well, hey, that's fine. And we'll also maybe, maybe be able to drink something, because I'm quite, running quite low on first. And that's never a good sign, is it? No. What's over here? Nothing. For God's sake, so you go and drink, um, chicken soup. Uh, that's 40 water. Is there anything that I can, yeah, 15. That's also, for, that's tomato soup, isn't it? Yeah, I don't want you. I want you. Slave it red. Yeah, can't cola. Drink you. That should keep me alive just a little bit longer. Beautiful. Now let's um, jump down to something over here. Actually, I might not survive this jump. Yeah, sure I will. Geronimo! Beautiful. Only 40% damage. I am good at not taking full damage, apparently. What's inside of these things? Absolutely nothing. Just pipes connecting to them. Okay, find a zombie over here. You're going to assassinate. There we sneak up on you and... Oh, beautiful. And now uh, these pipes, which I actually can't enter, apparently. Oh, well, would you look at that? This seems like a great idea. This is there. Yeah, this just leads into here, but there's nothing over there. But where do these other pipes lead, huh? It's a bunch of oil on the floor, which probably is quite flammable. So I probably shouldn't shoot that or hit that or anything with it. And there's... Actually, what is that? Why am I even in this pipe? This is just oh, this is sand, isn't it? There's a the sand that's seeping through the ground. There's nothing in this pipe. Why am I in here? I don't know, this sand looks very strange. Anyway, actually, there's another way to go over here. Aha! Uh -huh. And there's a butterfly knife, which deals much less damage. Mm, fun. Alright, then. And now we're gonna come out right here. But now this is. This outside of the corner. Where does this even. Where does this go? Absolutely nowhere. Yeah, this is outside of the oil fields. And it just goes into the rocks. That's a very strange place. I flip an oil pipe to go. Anyway, let's go and murder this guy. I think these are the same guys that work at the water towers, but, well, I went when I killed them both. Kill them all, you get the point. Now, I'll stop you in the back, and your buckaroo buddy over here. There we are. And why did that guy drop, like, a different shirt up to what he wears? I don't know. Keep going. Oh, for God's sake, why is your vision so good, dude? I'm gonna shoot you so you don't burn me. There we are. Uh-huh. Load you up. Oh, actually, you up. There we are. You go stab this guy. Oh, maybe shoot him in the head. That's much simpler, much quicker, much more fun as well. There we are. And now let's go into here. This is the other sign. Here's the same sign as before. Just flip the other way. Fun, fun, fun. A bit of a control station with a lot of oil. And now outfit over here. Industry uniform top. Yep. Mm -hmm. There's nothing in these oil fields. Not even like a random items like there were in the other place you were in. There's literally nothing over here. But these pipes you can go into for some reason. Is that, a, is that an animal, isn't it? That's a, Oh god, that's bad. I'm being chased by some weird animal. Um, Oh, stop, stop. Ah, I killed it. What the hell was that? I don't know, but I was being chased by some weird animal with green eyes. Luckily, I managed to shoot it and kill it. That thing could have killed me. Luckily, it didn't. Jesus, what the hell? Why was it even in here? I don't know, but it's dead now. I also dropped some raw meat, but I don't think I have any ways to cook that. So, yeah, there's nothing even in here. Well, whatever. At least I've murdered an animal. So, you know, I've got that going for me. And let's go and get out of here before the flipping. What are their name? Uh, the, um. Uh, before the RSPCA take me down. Other than that, we jump onto here. Then jump onto here. And there we are. Parkour. Beautiful. And now, murder this guy. Beautiful. They can murder his friend. And they'll probably just leave because there's literally nothing here. Like, it's just oil all over the floor but it's just empty old barrels which believe me are quite useless so there's yeah literally nothing in here how very unfortunate i guess i'll just yeah take my leave after i check out this warehouse firstly and then I'll probably bathe myself in that oil which is not a healthy thing to do but oh well, hey whatever oil in here yep just oil and oil and oil and more goddamn oil Damn it, let's just, yeah, bathe in oil. Oh, how great. I am definitely going to die because of <laughs> because of this. Taking an oil bath is, believe me, not advised. But since it's a video game, I do not care, and I will take an oil bath. There's just more empty oil barrels in here. Anything up here? Nope. It's just, what the hell even is this? You know, in the tip that I read about this place, I was expecting... A lot of, like, you know, cool oil-related stuff. Maybe, like, you know, gas canisters and that type of stuff. And, you know, oil that I can go and make stuff out of. Maybe even money that I can, you know, you know, get from selling this oil. But no. 
There's literally nothing here. The Bergen oil fields are absolutely terrible. Zero out of ten. We don't recommend ever. Let's just leave this place and we're going to finish off at the next destination it'll arrive to. What is the next destination? I don't know. We're probably going to try to get as far as we can over there, but we'll see. Let's just go onto the road and, yeah, so we travel as far as we can before we run out of fuel. It's probably going to be quite soon. Quite soon. Quite soon. How do then? For the go, the roads are quite weird because my car repeatedly shakes when I drive alongside them, which is a bit strange. But yeah, probably going to have to abandon our car the next stop. Because we only have 1% fuel. Well, I think I see the next location. Do I? Is it it? That is it. Okay. That's a gas station. Oh, how convenient. Shame my car died just outside of it. It's dead. It won't get us any further. Yep. And it's dead. So it managed to take us from like there all the way over to here. That's good, but it just didn't make it to the gas station. That's a gas station. Find ourselves like a gas canister. We can refuel this car and keep it going. Fortunately, it died before we got this. So I'll have to leave you here. And I'll have to come back for you later. For now, let's go and walk the rest of the way. Hopefully find a gas canister, refuel our car, and take ourselves further. Heading over to Al Abdal, which assumes a town, and be able to find some water and food and that stuff in there. Because we're going to need some water and fuel and that stuff, because I'm running low. So you should be able to survive for now, but soon we'll have to go to town and find ourselves something edible and drinkable and that good stuff. So before I head over to the gas station and explore it, I want to see, what is that over there in the in the sand? Can I even see it from here? That's that, but this thing, oh, it's this, right? She is it? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, this thing over here was this thing right here. And this is this area over here. And this thing over here is supposed to be right here, apparently. Somewhere around over here, it's just one of these weird animals, animal things over here. And that's just the water over there. Yeah, but where is the, um... Where is this area right here? It's supposed to be underneath the water area. It's supposed to be somewhere right here. Yeah. Yeah, somewhere right here is supposed to be like some kind of sediment. I want to go and explore that, so I'm going to go and do that. And then I'll go to the gas station. It looks quite cool. It's a mechanic, actually. But it does have gas. So it's basically a gas station. Car, uh, stay there. I'll come back for you. Maybe. Possibly one day. Perhaps. For now, let's pay a visit to that location over there. And then we'll probably go to the gas station to finish out there for today. Yeah, because we are running out of time. So let's now go and head over to this area over here. It's going to be a bit of a trek. We're going to have to go quite far. But hey, we'll get there soon enough. Now, I need to drink some water. But, um... Uh, yeah, I need to drink some water, like, ASAP. I can probably go and eat this chicken soup. Uh, actually, I'll wait till I lose 5 more percent of water. Uh, 5 percent more hunger points, then I'll be able to, you know, eat that chicken soup. Anyway, rather than, what is this location supposed to be? Somewhere over here. It's probably not even going to be anything over there. It's supposed to be right here. It's basically a settlement, an encampment. Looks like a terrorist encampment, actually. Yeah, from the looks of it. Maybe, yeah, this looks... Oh, okay, I want to get over there. That looks like a very interesting place. Probably going to get shot, but, well, hey, that's just all part of the experience, isn't it? Let's get over there and see what's over there. And they'll make my, then we'll make our way back to the gas station... And yeah, actually, you know what? Maybe I won't even explore this encampment today. I could simply finish off right on this rock over here. And yeah, finish off right there. And the next episode, I'll explore the encampment, go to the gas station, refuel my car, and head towards Al Abdali. Yeah, that's exactly what I'll do. I'll simply finish off right here. It will overlook this area, and then I'll we'll finish off right here. And look at that. That has the flipping animal thing, which is going bit close. But yeah, it looks like basically some kind of a cabin. It looks, it looks abandoned. Doesn't look like there's anyone, anyone over there. Might also be empty. Might also not be any items there, but that's fine. I've run out of time in today's episode. That's why next episode I'll explore this area. I'll explore the gas station and we'll resume our journey towards Al Abdali, Mutla Ridge, Sakur Air Base and journey the entire north section of the map. And then afterwards we'll find ourselves a boat and we'll travel to Icarus. Actually, no, we won't. We'll go to the capital. Then we'll go to Icarus. And then we'll go to Bobian Island. Yeah. But generally, yeah. Shark and Miral, basically the capital, is going to be explored after you explore the north. And we're going to explore the north. Most likely in the next episode. But basically, yeah, that's the plan. To explore the north, starting off with the Al Abdali area. I don't know if it's a town. Could be like a... I don't know. I don't know, I don't know what it could be. 
So we'll go and explore Al Abdali and all the other locations, and we'll simply explore the north of Kuwait quite soon. But for now, ladies and gentlemen, you have run out of time. Next episode, we'll explore some encampment. But for now, goodbye!